and welcome to another episode of Bookish and Bewildered. We're going through a minor heat wave. It's heat of biblical proportions that we are not used to in old blighty. You might be able to hear my desk fan which is working overtime to keep it cool over there in the corner and it's not working. Anyway, getting to the point of this video now. A week ago, Lost in a Bookcase came up with a challenge. It's called the First Line Buy Challenge. So I decided I might partake. There are some rules to this challenge. Rule number one, walk into a bookstore. Rule two, pick up a book. Look at the cover, not the back, not the blurb, but you must look at the first line and see if you vibe with it, see if that's something that you're into. You can look up whether it's a book in a series, but I'm not gonna do that. And the last rule is to make your purchase and then look at the back of the book and see exactly what you're getting yourself into. So I'm excited. I'm on the way to foils now and we'll see what I pick up. back and I come bearing books. So I've got V.E. Schwab's The Near Witch, very exciting. I've got The Unlikely Escape of Uriah Heep and I have Veronica Roth's Chosen Ones. I've got The Unlikely Escape of Uriah Heep because the first line I absolutely adored. At four in the morning I was woken by a phone call from my younger brother. He sounded breathless, panicked, with a particular catch in his voice that I knew all too well. Because we were all terrified of those calls from family members because they're in trouble or there's something wrong. So that really resonated with me and I was really excited to find out what exactly was going to happen with that. So, what is the story about? Well, I'll tell you. For his entire life, Charlie Sutherland has concealed an unusual ability he can't quite control. He can bring characters from books into the real world. Now it's up to Charlie and his reluctant older brother Rob to stop them, hopefully before they reach the end. Ooh, Veronica Roth's The Chosen Ones. It was at the front of foils um, and it was calling my name. The, the title just popped, as did the colour. And um, on the back it says, saving the world once made them heroes, saving it again might destroy them. Now I'm a big sucker for the colour purple. I love a hardback, I love purple. And if you put those two together, then I'm pretty much going to buy your book. So, let's read the blurb. Fifteen years ago, five ordinary teenagers were singled out by a prophecy to take down the Dark One, an impossibly powerful entity wreaking havoc across North America. The Chosen Ones, as the teens were known, gave everything they had to defeat him. After his defeat, the world went back to normal for everyone but them. After all, what do you do when you're the most famous people on Earth? Your only education it was in magical destruction, and your purpose in life is now fulfilled. Of the five, Sloan has the hardest time adjusting. Everyone else blames the PC PTSD and her huge attitude problem. Relatable. But really, she's hiding secrets from everyone. Secrets that keep her tied to the past and alienate her from the only four people in the world who understand her. On the 10th anniversary of the Dark One's defeat, something unthinkable happens. One of the Chosen Ones dies. When the others gather for the funeral, they discover the Dark One's ultimate goal, which was much bigger than they, the government, or even the prophecy, could have foretold. Bigger than the world itself. 
and this time fighting back might take more than Sloane has to give. Signed by the author. Snazzy. I've got a question for you. How the fuck did we end up with a name Dark One anyway? Love that. And that's why I decided to pick it up. Looking forward to it. And for the last book, we have got V.E. Schwab's The Near Witch. I really was attracted to the cover because it's gorgeous. I forgot to tell you what this book is actually about, which is um, something called The Near Witch, which is a mysterious fabled witch in this particular village. It's a, a village where there are no strangers that come to it ever, and a boy that disappears like a puff of smoke, so it's very mysterious. And the first line of the book is, it starts with a crack, a sputter and a spark, the match hisses to life. And that sucks me in, personally. Anyway, I'm still sweating balls as you can probably tell because it's still quite hot. Thankfully there has been a drop of rain and a clap of thunder, but it's still quite muggy in London, so pray for me. A big thank you to Lost in a Bookcase for creating this challenge because I had a lot of fun. Go subscribe to her if you aren't already because A, she's a delight and B, she's a tiny squeak away from a thousand subscribers. Thanks!